All right, well, it may seem like ancient history, but it's only been 50 years since the first human beings landed on the moon. And tomorrow actually marks the 50th anniversary of the Apollo 11 launch, the mission that allowed astronauts Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin to take a stroll where no one had set foot before. Well, tonight, a local connection to that historic day. 11 Alive's Doug Richards reports on the prominent Atlantans who led protest following the space program. This year's space budget is three times what it was in January 1961. When President Kennedy challenged America in 1962 to reach the moon, NASA had already launched five manned rockets, and the government was spending five and a half billion dollars a year on space. A staggering sum, though somewhat less than we pay for cigarettes and cigars every year. Space expenditures, even in 1960s money, that cost was staggering. 25 billion by the time the Apollo program ended. July 16th, the day had come. As the Apollo 11 astronauts prepared for launch, a bus on the grounds near the Kennedy Space Center emptied. And Atlanta civil rights figures Ralph Abernathy and Hosea Williams emerged to lead a protest against the space program. I think he was, as, as, as many of those men on the inner circle of Dr. King, was still out of his mind. That's Elizabeth Omalami, Hosea Williams' daughter. The protest came 15 months after the murder of Martin Luther King Jr. Williams, Abernathy, and other King lieutenants had struggled to keep the civil rights movement energized in King's absence. So what a better thing to get uh, 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 the issues of poverty and hunger on a national scale than to march on the moon launch. Liftoff, we have a liftoff. On the eve of one of man's noblest ventures, I am profoundly moved by our nation's scientific achievements in space. Abernathy recognized the historic moment while decrying what he called an inexcusable gulf between America's technological abilities and our social injustice. NASA responded by inviting some of the protesters to watch the Apollo 11 launch in the VIP section. Not to say the moon launch was a bad thing, but your priorities, America. Let's take a look at your priorities. Was Hosea Williams right? He was always right marching is always his go-to spot. <laughs> it took years, but politicians kind of came around to Williams and Abernathy. President Nixon waving to the astronauts. The After he was re-elected, President Nixon canceled the final Apollo launch for budgetary reasons. You know, four days after Apollo 11 launch, Armstrong and Aldrin made it to the moon's surface and our world changed forever. Hey.